offense, please? I thought the, the second half, I thought our defense and offense was really, uh, really effective in, in the second half. I thought we took advantage of the, the, the mismatches that we had. I thought our defense was really, uh, was dialed in, in in the second half. Uh, the first half, I, I thought that it was kind of spotty. We played some good patches of defense and some decent offense. Uh, but you got to give credit to the Southwest Baptist. I mean, they, they came in with nothing to lose, and they did a good job of really uh, kind of controlling the tempo. Uh, I think mean, we shot the ball 25 times in the first half. Uh, uh, but, but in the second half, I thought it was uh, much more uh, to our liking. I thought defensively did a much better job. Still had the, the turnovers in the first half, and you know, not necessarily even the, the live ball turnovers. The turnovers that they're having is, you know, the guys trying to make individual plays. And, and so that's it. That's something you got to continue to learn. You got to learn how to play within the flow of what we're doing. Uh, the second half, I thought Daniel kind of exerted himself uh, like he should have done in the first half. I thought in the first half, I thought he was playing with a lot of finesse. He and April, and, and those are the guys coming back from last year that that hopefully got to set the tone, you know, uh, for our basketball team. So, uh, but defensively, we held them to uh, a low percentage in terms of field goal percentage. They turned it over. Capitalized it more in the second half than we did in the first half. In the first half, we turned them over, uh, but we got very few points. Uh, we either come down and turn it over or get fouled if it's a free throw line, miss free throws. In the second half, I thought it was a much, much better rhythm. So uh, you just got to continue to work and get consistent minutes, and, you know, defensively and offensively. Uh, there's potential in this team. You just got to continue to work and, and get better each and every, every game out. Question? I guess any concern about uh, Daniel and the free throws tonight? Like he's like one of I seven. talked about this last year. I mean, that's got to be personal. You know, Daniel's going to get fouled a lot. And so he's got to have the confidence to get up there. He's got a nice touch. I mean, he just got to be consistent. I think it's more in his head than anything else. And, uh, but he's got to get in the gym and continue to work. He works on it, but he got to continue to work on it to become uh, second nature to him. Because he's going to get fouled a lot. Man. He's going to be, uh, a lot of what we do is going to go through him. And so he's going to have to be able to get up there and knock free throws down. We we shot over, what, 40 some free throws tonight? We shoot 45 free throws. And we had 15 more opportunities that we missed. Uh, so if we can kind of, again, we're an attacking team. So we, we should be getting to that free throw line. So we got to capitalize and, uh, and not have some wasted opportunities. Mike, I guess Isaiah's led you to scoring the red white game last week, this week. What have you thought of his preseason, especially his three point shooting? I think he's been pretty consistent uh, in, in what he brings to the table. Uh, what I'm more proud of is that you see him out there taking charges. I think he and Gabe probably are the lead, our charge leaders right now. Uh, he's getting rebounds and he's touching a lot of balls and he's diving on the floor. I thought our team was really kind of engaged in trying to get the 50 50 balls, the hustle plays. And, I thought that kind of ignited, you know, uh, our defense to continue to, to, to go on. But uh, he's been pretty consistent, and and, uh, and that's credit to, to him, but the credit to our guys too. They're fine. I think J5 uh, Harris he finds him quite a bit. Daniel finds him, and uh, and he's doing his part. He got off to a slow start, but I thought, you know, uh, as the game kind of got in an up tempo setting, and he, he got lost a little bit. And, we did a good job of finding him and ran some sets where they packed it in on Daniel, so he left him wide open. And, uh, he, he knocked some shots down. Mike, these second half starts, two games in a row, you guys kind of sluggish in the first half, but blowing out the 20 point leads in the first two or three minutes, free throw shooting gets better in the second half, the turnovers get cut in half. And you're not wearing guys down in the fourth quarter, you're doing it coming out of the gates. Are you making threats at halftime with these guys, or are you just? What's what's key in their hot starts these second half? Well, it's it's you know things that are killing them. I mean, you think about it. You said it, turnovers, you know, unforced turnovers, and, and missed free throws. You know, I thought even our defense, we gave up what, 30, 30 points in the first half. You know, but I thought the tempo was to, to their like, and they got some hustle plays on us. But uh, second half, you know, you got to get in, you got to come in and, and, and get refocus on the things that are, that are hurting. And, and I think Dan was being the dominant player he's capable of being. And I thought we came and made a uh, really uh, uh, big time effort in terms of getting him going inside. I thought Adriel stepped up and, and gave us some energy plays. And before you know it, our defense is what we got to hang our hats on. 
Uh, that's got it's got to be from the beginning game to the finish of the game, and so uh, it's just this team learning how to play. You know, they got to learn how to win. They got to learn how to win together. And, and obviously, uh, the second half is the half you want to win. I think there's a half you want to win in the second half, and I thought we got stronger as the game went on. And I thought uh, Southwest Baptist, uh, uh, obviously, I think our bench uh, had a big uh, had a lot to do with this particular game. That's where fatigue comes into play too. You know, the shots and the, the attacking they were doing earlier, they weren't. They were getting in there and we would come up with some turnovers and we get down the floor and we're scoring. And we, we're not only shooting once, but we get an offensive rebound and putting it back in. Mike, I consider you, you know, Dan gets the ball on the basket, the injury is kind of fouling because, you know, he's struggling with the features. Well, that's what I say. He's got to continue to work at it. I mean, I think I, I got the confidence in him. He's got to have confidence in himself to get up there and step up and knock him down. That, that is the key. Uh, it's early, hopefully it, it, it'll get better. He get into a better rhythm, knowing he's going to probably, I mean, at the rate he's shooting right now, he shot nine tonight. He probably missed one and ones too. So you, you get 10 free throws a, a night. Uh, you got to hopefully make at least seven to eight of them. So uh, just something we just got to continue working on. And you know, if they, if, if they do that, then that's going to put some of the people in foul trouble. And, and, but we got some other guys who get to the line and hopefully knock down some free throws as well. What did you think of Mason? Well, Mason had a solid game. I thought he was really solid. Uh, he was rebounding, he was touching ball, he came up with I think four steals. Uh, I thought he was engaged tonight versus the other night. I thought he was more engaged tonight doing doing other things. And of course, he, we know he's capable of knocking shots. And I got to the free throw line. So again, I thought he let the game come to him tonight. I think you're you're 34 and 0 in exhibitions. I know your teams are always favored to win, but you not had any slip ups. How, how do you feel about that? How, how do you feel about you know you play Texas and we kind of feel about where, where the team's at right now? Well, I, I think we still got some work to do. I mean, Texas is going to be a team that uh, obviously going to be an athletic team, and probably more size than we have. We have, have some tremendous, outstanding guard play. They have a big guy inside, so it's uh, it's a team that likes to play up tempo, a little bit of pressure, get at this too. And, Thing we got to continue to do. We got to rebound the basketball. We got to defend. And rebound is the end of part of defense. And, uh, <clears throat> and we got to take care of the basketball and, and, and continue to get continuity, you know, on, 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 on offense and, you know, knowing, you know, uh, what we got to do that and do that. And taking advantage of what team doesn't borrow or allow on us. Uh, so, but Texas is an outstanding basketball team. You know, we playing at a neutral site, which is in Texas. And, uh, uh, but at the same time, uh, we just got to continue to get better. I, you know, where we are right now is we'll find out more about ourselves. As I said, the, you know, the, the exhibition season is over with, so now it's the real deal. And, and, and so, uh, and being 34 and all. What about that? Yeah, no, well, you what, keep what, up with that. I don't what about, what about it? What about it? What about it? Nobody cares what I think. Well, I think you, you want to make sure that you're teaching your players that when anytime you take the court, you play to win. I mean, that, to me, that, that's the biggest thing I get. No matter who you play, you play to win. And I think that's just the mindset. Coach, they, yesterday I think you said Mason, when he was on the floor, maybe in the first, the first couple games, that he was thinking maybe a little bit too much. Was he a little bit more decisive and with the ball in his hands and with the shot, shot selection behind him? He just played, played, he played basketball. I mean, he played the way he's you know, capable of playing in, in practice. And so uh, and that's probably uh, – Maybe that's good with the exhibition games and the red white games. Maybe you got a chance to, to get the nerves out. You know, a lot of times that's nerves. That's when you're thinking. Uh, maybe he got those nerves out, and now uh, he's ready to help our basketball team. He, he's gonna he's gonna be a big big part of what we do. Uh, all these guys are, and you can see there's some some pretty good depth. Uh, we just got to get these guys, especially when they come off that bench, you know, uh, to come with it, come with it collectively. You know, sometimes you come with it individually. They got to come collectively, come out there and, uh, uh, and take the game plan uh, to the teams that they're playing. Yeah, this is, uh, how, how's Gabe feeling? I know he was, I think he was favoring that uh, tailbone a little bit before the start of the second half. Well, it, it tells you a lot about Gabe. I mean, he even took a charge and fell on it. I think he pointed to it. And so but he had, you know, since that took place, I had to take him out of practice the other day. And I, and I had a feeling that it would kind of kind of rear his head in this particular setting. So, but he's got to uh, continue to do the rehab. And uh, but, but we, you can see, Gabe, Gabe can have an effect on the game in a lot of different ways. You know, taking charges, deflections. Uh, I 
think tonight as a team, we always talk about charting deflections. I think we have maybe, I don't know, I think it's 42 or 47. I think it's 42 deflections. See, when we do that, we're pretty active. And so in the second half, we got 18 turn, 18 uh, steals, the nine block shots. That means we were active. And we came up with those turnovers and made some things happen. So, uh, but uh, but Gabe, he's tough. He's a tough kid. Looks like the rotations at nine deep right now going into Texas in the front line. That's four guys, including Adrian and Gabe. So are you comfortable playing Chaney with Gafford? As far as are you trying to stretch out the fouls and have a guy to be able to come in and fill in those shoes? Well, that's what these games were to see what the combination. Uh, the other night, he played and he played with Gafford and he played without Gafford. And, and I thought he was really effective. Uh, the more he plays, the more he's going to get more confident. You can see that with you know, at times, you know, as a freshman, they're going to be up and down sometimes. They're going to think sometimes. But the, the more he plays in the game, it's, it's really 94 feet. Uh, he's, he's very, very effective. You'll, you'll see him out there on the floor. You'll see him with Daniel, without Daniel, with Adriel. I mean, that's the beauty of this team. You know, I, I talk about the versatility of the different parts. And so, but, but when they come out there, they got to be able to be cohesive with that, that, as a unit, no matter who I put out there. What's the latest with Jordan Phillips and when he might be able to, to start playing? Uh, well, yeah, I'm just being prayerful that we can get him here maybe in a couple weeks. You know, I'm, I remember he's speaking out of turn. Uh, Dave is the medical profession, Dave England that is, uh, uh, but I think next week he'll get a chance to come and do some non-contact stuff, be able to get some, get out there and get the shooting and see if he gets some mobility in there. And, uh, and then we'll just see where it goes from there. I mean, he's been working extremely hard trying to get back. Uh, so it's, it's some positive stuff taking place for him. So like I said, maybe two, two weeks, three, I, I, I don't know exactly a particular time, but, uh, but I think his rehab and is, is going pretty good right now. Just a quick follow up on that. How much have you been able to see um, see him on the floor between the hip rehab and then this injury? About a week. He looked pretty good. About a week, he looked pretty good. He, he's, he, he's that other piece that we got to have. Uh, that versatile, uh, like a big guard, really. Uh, he's a, he's a, uh, I think as he's sitting there and watching, you know, he can see that rebounding, the physicality, uh, uh, having a guy that can make some plays. Uh, so, so we look forward to getting them back. Thanks, Coach. All right, y'all have a good evening.